Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and there's no turning back. Let's do it! Alright, so, if I remember right, if I put... No, there's a switch right here that opens up this one. Perfect! We still have a burning torch from last time. So we got that going for us, and fortunately, since I reloaded, all of my progress in this dungeon is not saved. I'm actually going to have to kind of wander around here and kind of remember what I was doing here. Oh, right. So I needed, like, the tokens of something to open up this one. So I think what I need to do is visit all the other parts of the dungeon just to figure it out. Now, might as well go this direction. I don't... Uh-oh. Uh, Slippy is starving. Wait, that's the lizard. I think he's got food. Yeah, baked maggot. Have fun. Ugh. Okay. So, first and foremost... Oh, is that is that all that's down this section? Sweet. That's really convenient. So, if you notice, uh, oh, interesting, it doesn't stack. That's weird. Oh, Bora doesn't stack either. Well, let's feed him some Bora. Probably get him up to full food. Probably should pay more attention to everybody's hunger. At the same time, uh, it doesn't deplete that slowly. So, I got that going for me. And let's just feed him some more meat. So, I got plenty of food. I've got some really awesome weapons. But I'm going to need everybody to level up first. So I think as loath as I am to do this, as soon as the... As soon as Kilrog levels up to level whatever, I'm going to put one point into Light Weapons 1 just so he can use one of those long swords. Because as it stands, he is a little bit on the weak side of things. So we've got a save crystal, which is actually really good. Unfortunately, it doesn't bring people back up to full food, but it does bring them back up to full health, and it is uh, technically a save. All right, the freaking leprechaun. I remember him. And then he just like scoots off down that direction, and then I don't know if I'll ever see him again, but there's a key. I think there's also a bunch of rat men around this direction. I think that door freaking scared me. Jeez, I mean, go figure, but still. At least we got the flaming longsword that we picked up in the last area, so that's nice. Oh, can't reach. I'm, I'm trying to hit him with the, the staff, and what I should be doing is exploding his face. Okay, yeah, very glad we got the flaming longsword. That's, that's definitely going to help. 36 damage. He does more than the mage 90% of the time, which is pretty freaking useful. Okay, so first, let's reload. I'm not going to be able to reload. Uh, sling. There we go. Now, we might have another rat man, but I'm actually going to go back here and rest. Just because the less healing potions I use, probably the better off we're going to be. Only question is, this might deplete a lot of my food, and that could be a problem, but instead of resting next time, I think I, I will be able to, um... I'll be able to go back to the save crystal. Actually, the question is, does that use food? I think it does. So, resting does have the food cost related to it. So I don't remember going down this direction. What's this say? Philosopher's Stone. Oh yeah, I did. I must have fought that rat man previous. It doesn't look like there's anything here. Let's check our map. So we've got two doors and a passage I haven't been down yet. So let's go down the passage first and foremost. I'm trying to... Oh, there's one of my knives. Or maybe one of his. I don't remember having that one. Oh, okay. So I remember that chamber from the last time we were in here. Also, I have this door. Which had the switch, which I believe I pulled the nest. So this one was the one with all the rat men in it. Which is a concern, but at the same time, we know at least they're manageable and I'm not going to get surrounded too badly here. Got out of the way of that. Let's see trying to move over here, trying to make it so we're only fighting one rat man at a time. Because I really don't want to fight multiple. Because there are two, right there. And luckily, they're currently blocking the way. Let's reload him. Reload him while we wait. Because there's no reason why not to. Now, sometimes I regret playing this game on the difficulty that I played it on, but at the same time, I will learn the ropes. I'm afraid to move, though, because if I move, we might have two rat men hucking stuff at us. 
which is not so great. Explode him, go on the next. So we should be fine, and worse comes to worse, if anybody gets injured, we can go back to the slave save crystal, because I believe an adequate amount of time has passed, and they can get revived. And then we can... Oh. Time... It's pistol time. I'm trying to hit him with all my stuff, and... Uh... What's he doing? You're not running away from me. Oh, he's got a buddy. That's a problem. That's... Let's ice spike them. Whale. Okay, he's dead. And we got another, which is inherently concerning. Because our, our guys are getting a little bit on the injured side of things. At the very least, we can kind of use that against him. Uh-oh. Wait, that's not what I want to do. There is no pausing in this game. I don't have a healing potion on the Minotaur. I don't have any more healing potions, so that's a problem. Minotaur's about to go down. Nope, never mind. We lucked out here. Whew. Okay, so I know we got some loot back behind us. Probably could have actually held off on the healing potion. Let's quickly use the save crystal, get everything back. We don't have to rest. Go to the Minotaur, give him... Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, he has light armor proficiency now. So he can actually use everything but the helmet. So I'm actually half tempted to go back in here. Not that one. Not that one. This one? No. Ah, this one. Let's go back in here, put the cap on him, and it's a little bit less defense, but at the same time, it is... Uh, it does give him much needed evasion, which we currently don't have. I'm gonna have to switch back to pistol bullets for this one, but... Luckily, the rat decided to come find us in the save chamber, which is perfect, because I'm not sure when it's going to recharge, but I should be able to... Oh, shoot. I was going to give the Minotaur... Oh, nope. I was not going to give it to him. I was going to give it to him, uh, and then I realized I haven't put a point in, and currently I don't feel like messing around with that. Okay, so he's got a load of throwing daggers for us. You're not ready again. Hmm. Okay, skills. I, I don't have many heavy weapons, and I really would like him to have something. So this will give him versatility, but it will make it so, uh, we're gonna have to wait a little. Oh, he could have actually gotten the Warhammer. Oh, well, the damage difference is actually fairly negligible. I'm not entirely sure it does ignore armor. So let's rest up. Uh, yeah, I mean, if a rat attacks us, it attacks us. We got the save crystal. Okay, next up, you. Skills. Uh, light weapons, two. That means, uh, third level, dual wield light weapons, as long as one of them is a dagger. Fifth level, you can dual wield any light weapons. And, hmm, not entirely sure if this is a dagger, it's a light weapon. Because this, for a fact, is a dagger. This, not so much so. It's a little blade, but leech, energy. I'm going to try it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and if it does work, then good for me. And we'll just give him that. Okay, next up. He needs firearms, probably. Uh, wider range of potions. Need herbs. And then, fourth level, you get stronger healing and energy potions. So, honestly, I need to get a lot of stuff into, uh, into alchemy and firearms. And I'm a little bit sad that I've, uh, put all of the points into all the other stuff. I'm actually gonna... Bum Rush Alchemy. It, two more levels, then he can max it out. And if he actually maxes out Alchemy, then that's going to put us in a really good position. Let's get some more knives. Where are the rest of my knives? Here they are. Let's see. Switch the wizard back to sling. Pick up our rocks. Pick up all of our throwing daggers. And go back into the hive. Because uh, next time we rest, by the way, I'm going to quickly make a bunch of health potions. Because I probably need it. Okay, so we got a rat moving around there. We got a... We got a caved-in tunnel. Uh-oh. We got a rat coming after us. I'm glad I got out of the way, though. So, come on. I'm ready for you, whoever you are. Unfortunately, the one problem is I am actually completely out of health potion. Oh, yeah. He is dual-wielding. Okay, so that dagger is, in fact, a dagger. Good to know. 
So he does take a damage penalty as a result of this, but it does mean he can attack faster, which is exactly what we want. I'm really not sure how many rats are left. It'd be horrible if they were infinitely spawning, because I am not able to deal with this level of... Let's see if I can shoot him. He is fleeing. That's not appreciated. Hmm. Oh, now he's coming back. I'm not entirely sure what his point was there, either that or he's a different one. Both of which are not preferable things. Okay, it's the same one. That's good. Unfortunately, I'm already injured. Fairly injured. Which does kind of necess uh, necessitate fleeing and healing. Let's go all the way back. Seriously. Uh, some of the damage you take in this game just... Wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Please don't ambush me. Okay. That's not the right way. This is the right way. And I want to go to the left here. And I'll back up along the way. Then it's... Not that. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Here we go. I'm hearing noises on the other side of somewhere. And that scares me a little bit, but we should be fine. Now, yeah, because we've got a couple of locked doors, but I'm, go I'm going to explore the nest first and foremost. Because at the very least, we know it's manageable. And that's a good thing. I'm just concerned that uh, it won't be as manageable as I think it is. Let's actually go into his inventory, switch out the torch. Yeah, it's dark. Let's make one, two. I'll make four. Because if I have two for each, then I probably won't have to worry about it for at least a little while. And maybe we'll get lucky and find some more. So let's actually go back into his inventory, pull out this torch. It's dark. And keep going. So I haven't been this direction. Which is both good and bad. Looks like there's a rat behind a cage there. Got some kind of cudgel. What's the cudgel do? Uh, bash. Heavy weapons too. So here's the question. Um, does it invalidate his shield? No, it doesn't. So I could actually use that instead. The thing is, it doesn't do as much damage. It does give him... Uh, mm, doesn't give him a special attack, though. But maybe I should have just been patient. Oh, well. So we got a warg behind a door. And a oh, mysterious puzzle system. Never understood these. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to interact with them. Like, maybe hook something on to weight it down, but I don't exactly know how. Then there's a power crystal there. So, we've cleared this area out. Let's go around the other direction until I can figure out this puzzle. It was pretty much going to be no uh, no using it. Just keep an eye on where I am. So yeah, let's go around this direction and see what we got. We got more things behind the door, more cave-ins, another torch. Weird-ass freaky door thing. Another torch. That thing scares me a little bit. I get the feeling as soon as I walk on the pressure plate, I'm going to get smacked. I don't like the idea of getting smacked. We get an energy potion. I'm going to put it on him. Looks like there's a switch on the other side, but I'm not going to be able to interact with that for at least a little while. So here's the question. How do we open up the warg doors so we can fight them? The answer seems to be, I don't know yet. Hmm. Um. Okay, that's concerning. So there's a trap door, a face that'll shoot you, and a switch. So I'm going to be cheap. E06.5. I don't even know if this is episode 6 or something like that. I probably should have a better numbering system, but at this point, it's uh, adequate. So what's this one say? Be quick. I was trying to be quick. That door did not open. Okay. Okay, so we got wargs aplenty, which is inherently concerning. Uh, the mage is getting walloped. I'm trying to... Oh, jeez, this is bad. I think I made a mistake here, guys. 
he doesn't have enough energy. Okay, there we go. He apparently did not have enough energy to uh, heavy attack. Maybe be quick was in reference to uh, the the wargs. All right. Well, beautiful thing about fighting the wargs, they give us food. We do kind of need. Oh shit! Ow. Okay, we are in a bad position, so let's get both of these guys back up. Does he just not have enough energy to... Weird. He should, he should have plenty of energy to be using that cudgel. Weird. Alright, well, there goes a pair of healing potions. That's a lot of meat, though. Which is nice, and unfortunately the lizard is injured. Oh, no health regeneration. That's bad. So we need to find a way out of this warg den. Luckily, we've killed them all. So we got that going for us. We got a rage potion. I'm going to put that on him. And I'm going to scoot around. Looking. We got another mushroom. I I'm just going to scoot around making sure that there's nobody else here before I try and solve the question of how to get out of here. Because I'm hearing noises, and noises terrify me just a little bit. At least we get a pair of health type potions to make up for the fact that we did kind of fall pretty far. Can't open doors normally. Okay, quick check the map. I've seen everything, so I notice there's a switch back here. Uh, let's pull it. So that's done one thing, as far as I can tell. Because we've got that locked gate over there, but it apparently doesn't open. So we're going to have to go down this direction. More more health-related mushrooms. This is good. Oh, hey. This is how we get here. Is it going to just tell me to be quick again? What? Oh, hello. Okay, not everything is the exact way that it was earlier. So apparently, by going through that way, we have unlocked the ward doors. And that's both a concern and... Not a terrible surprise. Let's just firebolt him. Wow, that, that actually worked pretty well. Let's just pick up the meat, throw it at the lizard man. And what we need to do is actually go back for the save crystal, because it's probably charged back up. Oh! Holy shit. Okay. Poison. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I was trying to use his fire nonsense. Okay. Come on, do it. Yeah, and gets him some health back. Not much, but it does get him some. And either he will be fine, or we will run into some issues. Okay, that's another ward door. I think that was the only ward door. So I guess we really were supposed to go down there, and the be quick was more... Ah, shoot another warg. I'm gonna pick up whatever the crap this is and throw it in his inventory. Oh, that didn't hit him either. If I'm lucky, I can actually flee. We want to go this direction. We want to flee fast. Because if I can get back to the save crystal before the warg realizes I went this direction, we can get everybody back up to full health, full energy. And then we can come back and wail on him. No problem. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go find that warg. I wonder if enemies actually have, like, light detection radiuses and stuff. That would not surprise me that much. But this does seem a lot more manageable than the last time I came through. Okay. I think my torch is running low or something. Okay. So here's where the warg was previously. Does not look like there's anything here, though. Which is kind of a shame. Also, his torch ran out. So we need another light source. And I think there might actually be one on the other side of the door. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Yep, there he is. Sup, Wargy? Poison. And just back up. Oh, he can't use that ability. Okay, so the first first and foremost are our... our uh, our Berserker character actually has a health drain, which is really convenient now. I'm going to have to start using that in the future. We also have a torch. I'm going to put it on the rat. Just toss that one up there. I'm not sure if you can ever, like, 
refresh torches, but it's not something I'm going to mess around with too much. Okay. He is injured, no health regeneration. Oh, that sucks. Turtle egg. Well, at the very least, we got a save shrine fairly close. And I'm not actually sure if there are any more enemies in this area. We've still got that mysterious door that we can't reach yet. But we do have a lot of stuff, a lot of fish, a lot of food. This is very much appreciated. And, um... I've been informed that I should probably actually start... Oh, hey, another torch. Convenient. What do we have? I'm trying to figure out where all the wargs came from. Because there's that other direction. But I think we just checked that out. We've got a counterweight puzzle. So... Yeah, we got that puzzle again. We got that. Now, I don't have any enemies that we can currently, like, distract and pull behind us, because that could be a potential way of handling the teleportation thing, you know. It's kind of like a counter. Also sounds like there's some kind of secret passage or another area behind one of these doors. Because we got that room in there, we got, we got a lot of stuff. But I can't figure out how to get the counterweights here working. Yeah, there was nothing in here, no switches, right? Not that I s Oh wait, hello. Aha! There was a switch. I'm gonna have to check the other warg chambers. So what's this one? Rogue Vest. I'm gonna throw it in his inventory. And what we need to do is actually go into his inventory. And... You know what? I'm not sure if these letters are even remotely worthwhile, but our guys are a little bit on the hungry side. So I might as well get rid of some of this food. Probably could have actually been a little bit more conservative there. He doesn't seem to need it. He needs some food. Have some smoked sea bass. That'll do. And we do have the wand. And the thing is, the lightning rod seems actually less useful than other things. Okay. So where's that rogue vest? I put it on him. Protection 5. Dexterity 1. Uh, chest injury. No health regeneration. That's not useful. I want to know other things. Okay. Well... I'm going to give it to him anyway, because I'm just going to wager it's better. Yep. It, it is better. I should maybe put it on the Lizard Man, but the thing is, the Lizard Man is doing all right-ish. No, I'm actually going to put it on the Lizard Man, because it doesn't have uh, light armor proficiency requirements. And it does reduce his health slightly, but not by much. And we'll just put the... Embalmer's Rogue on Smuggles. Okay. So now, we've got an injured Minotaur. We found a secret chamber. We've got this, whatever the hell this is, and however you're just supposed to figure it out. But I don't know. I'm gonna keep my eyes out for switches and stuff. I should probably check the other ward chambers while we're here. And this. Is there anything useful in here? Not that I see. Okay. Well, let's just keep looking. Maybe I'll find something somewhere along the rainbow. Either that or I'll have to be quick. Whatever that specifically is going to do for us. I guess I'll give it a couple of tries, and if I fail, then I will actually say goodbye. Maybe? I don't know. It's one of those where it's like, I don't feel like I've accomplished much. It's mostly just running around and being afraid of uh, everything. Okay. Well, we freed the wargs, so at the very least, we don't have to fear that. We do have to fear falling damage. Well... I'm going to save again, 6.5, and then we're just going to go through. Maybe, if we're lucky. I don't think that did anything useful. So let's reload. The one other thing that it could potentially be is you're actually supposed to back off. And maybe it resets? I don't know. Because I'm trying to go through the door, but the door opens too slowly. So what if we go the opposite direction and go the other way? That seems like the most likely thing that I could possibly do. Okay. So what we're going to do... Move back. That opens. I get poisoned by that. Okay, that shoots. There we go, got it. Whew. That was 
something interesting. Okay, so we've got a couple of locked doors here, but they've got switches that I can open up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to op open up those portcullises. So that's got a very limited amount of time to get through. Yeah, there's the counterweight mechanism there, but that's not going to make any difference. I'm going to have to deal with the slight damage, but there we go. We got the crystal, and that's good enough for me. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode of... Uh, hello, Legend Grimrock 2, where we will continue clearing this dungeon in a slightly cowardly way. By that, I mean going back to heal pretty much after every encounter. Because enemies hit way harder than I do in this game. It's like they're all trained fighters, and I'm just a couple of schlubs that came in on a prison boat. That actually makes a heck of a lot more sense, now that I reiterate it. So... Let's get back the save crystal, heal up, and feel good about ourselves. Yeah!